wrote an essay last week in the Daily Beast that argued that the yard lines of American politics since for two decades now have been fought between the children of Bill Clinton and the children of Ronald Reagan. And the fear fight has been fierce, but it's been relatively ideologically narrow. And that that may well change. That the compromises uh, that Bill Clinton made and that Barack Obama has accepted in terms of the way the Democratic Party needs to accept basic axioms of American capitalism and influence of Wall Street today are going to be challenged by by millennials, by young Americans who have grown up in a much tougher economic circumstance than their parents, than older Americans, and that is leading them to question in more radical ways than we have seen before some of the basic tenets about the way the American economic system is working and the way people with wealth can influence American politics. I think that Bill de Blasio's kind of upset victory in the Democratic primary in New York was one sign of what is going to be a much larger revolt inside the Democratic Party against a Democratic Party establishment that isn't willing to make to challenge these questions more fundamentally and I suggest in my piece that Hillary Clinton is more vulnerable to such a challenge in the 2016 Democratic primary for instance by someone like Elizabeth Warren than most people have recognized.